It's not myth. Left-handed people exist. I'm one of you. Oh my god, my brain's melting. Oh, that just makes. Oh. oh my gosh, my, where's my mind gone now? I think I need to lie down. Hello everybody, I hope you are well. Welcome to my kitchen, it's Barry. And today we're doing a video that I've wanted to do for probably about 18 months now, but I've just kind of, I just kind of forget sometimes. Uh, if you did not know, I am left-handed. This is my left hand, I use it often, and it's the sort of thing that some of you followers will know. You're like, he's left-handed. Uh, but I do actually do other tasks with my right. You might say that I'm ambidextrous. I can do pretty much nothing with both hands. Is that the hand you write with? No, it's the hand I left with. So anyhow, the purpose of today's video, I've got a slightly smaller lens on because it's better sort of focusing on some of the details here. Uh, we've got a box full of left-handed things. We're just gonna sort of rummage through with the help of these ingredients and bits on the side. There's a couple of novelty ones, first of all, that I think will get out of the way just to warm the cockles and then we'll give them a go and see if they generally do help because I've had to uh, kind of adapt uh, in a way, I guess, just by using a, a, a tin opener that's right-handed. Do I need to use a left-handed thing? Do I, do I need a left-handed corkscrew? There's only one way to find out, and you're in the right place. We'll get rid of the novelty things. First of all, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is ridiculous, okay? Uh, this is a left-handed clock. I thought I'd get some things that are like, <laughs> so funny. As a left-handed person, I'm slightly offended by this. I kind of added to the emotion there, Amy, thank you. And of course, it ticks the other way. The only thing I'm gonna pick up on here is how it says, Silf emit, right? Sounds maybe German or Swedish. Actually converts to time flies. Right, we've bought ourselves a left-handed clock, but it also comes with a box. I'm quite an inquisitive person, just like you, or some of you. And I want to know, I genuinely, genuinely want to know how much this box measures. I hope I'm not the only person that measures a box when they arrive. So, to do that, there's a well-known tool just picked up the right one, called a tape measure. This is an eight meter tape measure, and uh, this is, uh, I'm left handed trying to work out, this is what I would do, okay? I wanna be act normal, okay? Role play. I would genuinely always hold the measure in my left hand and pull the measuring tape thing out with the right and look like that. So that's 31 centimeters, uh, which is okay, whoops, but it's upside down. I'm not sure if you can see that. To you, that is the right way up, but for me, it is upside down. So, that is where this thing comes in. Uh, so this is the left-handed tape measure, and if I go like that, oh yes, yes, the numbers are the right way up for me, which it tells me it's 31 centimeters, and uh, for you it's upside down, right? That is genuinely amazing. Well, I helped out build this extension. I genuinely wish when I was measuring things, that I was like, ah, oh, why was I getting upside down all the time? That's actually quite useful, all right? I was very skeptical, but it's useful. I'm trying to look at that clock, like as a left-handed person. I, I think I could get used to it, do you know what I mean? Can you live with that? Would you, would you, would you put up with this? We interrupt this video with a mid-roll ad burned into my own video for me, for a friend. Uh, Stuart, Ashen, you know, Ashen's, yes. <laughs> Ashen's and the Polybius Heist, the sequel to his first movie, which he successfully crowdfunded, is released from today, the day I put this video up, November the 19th, 2020. But not just that date, no, it's out after that. You, can, you don't have to watch it on that date, so finish watching this video, then check it out. There's loads of links down below. I am in it, okay? I have, a, I have a role to play, I have some lines, I have a colander hat on my head, I look like the home pride flower guy. It's amazing. They put so much effort into it and I am super proud of my friends and just how much hard work and the quality they have made out of that. It is the best film I've ever seen since Waterworld and they had a considerably larger budget. Check it out. Have you ever heard of the Polybius? The infamous arcade game that can control people's minds. It's the most addictive game ever. Now, back to left-handedness. Just had to move the clock slightly because I didn't think I'd use my kettle today, but we do need it for something else. Right. When it comes to opening boxes, I tend to use a Stanley knife, all right? So just a standard, generic, uh, standing knife like that where you can snap off every time you use it But this is why I don't think it's gonna work because you can see that you've got the blade It's kind of got a, a groove in it either side, so it's even but 
I've got this thing. This is a left-handed Stanley knife. And my kettle's finished boiling, so we might as well get this out. This is a very novelty left-handed mug, which I was actually trying to myself, why would you need a left-handed mug on Twitter? Uh, uh, is it the handle there? No, it makes no sense, it's still the same. Right, I think it's um, like we've seen before, when you add warm water to it, it should get some text going on there or something. There you go. Lefties have all the right moves. Uh, okay, it's just full of loads of left-handed puns, which of course I'm gonna memorize and use them in future on other people. If the left half of the brain controls the right half of the body, then only left-handed people are in their right mind. Wow, this is quite deep. <laughs> Everyone is born right-handed, only the truly gifted overcome it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh wow, I thought that was the blade then. What the heck is going on here? Left-handed Stanley blade knife thing. Uh, okay, we see this like that, looks all right. Um, is there any, what the hell is that for? Oh, you've got a thumb rest. God, that's pretty posh. I've never had a thumb, I, I don't really buy them that uh, expensive normally, but <laughs> that's awesome. I wasn't really sure how to test this. Left-handed mode on. I'm going to pick this up. Oh, actually, my, I mean, it might just be the design of this, actually. My, my pinky is getting stuck on that little base bit there where it curves out, whereas this, that actually feels quite good. And I, it's just slightly curved. Hmm. I don't think that makes much of a difference. It actually feels worse. I think I've just become used to this and that's okay because that's that's quite a lot of money. Ladies and gents, a bottle of rosé, uh, no particular brand. Mrs B's not picky like that, but it will uh, keep me in her good books, which as you know, <laughs> it's good to be. Uh, so normally I would, I'm just trying to think, I would walk up to it with me uh, corkscrew thing and I would go, hi, I'm gonna open, hi, we're entertaining. We're gonna open uh, this bottle for you. There's a cork there, obviously. We go down and then we twist it, okay? So just like, so this is your standard corkscrew, lefty loosey, righty tighty, okay? And that's how that thread, like a screw, goes down further into the cork and then you plonk it out. <laughs> Left-handed, this is a bottle opener where if you can see that, can you see? If I turn it righty tighty, it's going to go loosey. So this is actually the other way around. So lefty tighty, righty loosey. This is weird. I need to really like throw out how I would normally do something, but still use my dominant hand because I do use my dominant hand. I just turn it right then left. And that's not a left-handed right-handed thing, is it? That's a turn. Is that another thing? Have we, have we delved deeper into the left versus right hand thing? Is it more of a turn thing? Hey, just think about that for a minute. So yourself, stop thinking about yourself. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I've got to do it natural. Come on. Whew. Okay. So that's in there. That doesn't feel any different, really. It feels odd. And then that goes in, and then we ready. It worked, but I don't think it's essential. As a left-handed person, I endorse the classic righty-tighty method for corkscrews. This next one is scissors, and just to show you, I quite comfortably cut with my right. I don't ever <laughs> cut scissors. I've never even thought about cutting with my left. Maybe that's the ambidextrous thing. Maybe it's just the way they've always felt in my hand and that they can't do it. Because when you have a, a left-handed knife or scissors, for example, the actual blade is, is dominant more towards the right-hand side. So that should help you cut it. This feels so weird. And these aren't food scissors, although they're in the utensil section of the left-handed website I went to that says just for domestic use, not for slicing stuff. Although we might cut some veg in a minute, I don't know. But that feels really weird. God, I feel like I'm like learning to ride a bike again. That, it, the, cu the cut is sharp. It feels good. Like I can feel like the benefit of doing it with my left hand. In fact, let's try these in the right hand. Oh no, it is sort of, yeah, it's curving it slightly. Look, the curving it slightly. That is actually quite a difference. Cut that with my left, 
cut that with my right. So, that dominance, maybe it's a mental thing. Wow. <laughs> I found that quite cool. So, do I need them? No, I don't. But using them in my right versus my left, look. It's not myth. Left-handed people exist. <laughs> I'm one of you. They work. But I don't want to pay the extra money for these where there's going to be much less variety. I've learnt over the years, like the caveman evolving, I've learnt to use this. And it's at a snip of the price. I think we're doing alright for time. It's coming up to 20 to... Oh my god, my brain's melting. Uh, so I'm going to have quite an interesting lunch today, as you'll find with some of the foods uh, that I've got. This is some macaroni cheese. I've never had macaroni cheese in a tin before. And some loads of meat merged in a tin of beans, which is quite common in the UK. Do a breakfast one as well. Uh, this is uh, a standard tin opener. And this is the left-handed one. Now, is there a difference? Let's have a look. The cog thing, that's what we're going to call it. Can you see this cog thing there is on the left side, whereas the equivalent of it is there. And the bladey bit there is on the right. So that is the opposite. I feel really weird right now. <laughs> like, I can't remember how I opened a tin of beans. I think, yeah, I put it down like that, push down. Oh, yeah, we go. Yeah, I pushed, I hold with my left, and then I push, oh my gosh, with my right. And to be honest, that feels like the way it should be because I'm not going to show you the contents of these cans. They're quite, um, they're quite unique. I held it with my left and span forwards with my right. That's, that's good. Now, <laughs> the left-handed version. This is weird. That would go down there. Oh, yeah, because if I push it with my left and clamp, right, which is the opposite, I'm going to have to go like that with my right hand if I try and hold that same thing. So I'm going to have to hold the tin with my right and then, oh, and then go like that. Oh, no, 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 that feels weird. That feels really weird. Oh, that just makes, oh. You know when you're right-handed and you try and write with your left and vice versa, that's how this all feels. I much prefer, as a left-handed person anyway, to use your dominant hand for the control. Oh my gosh, my, where's my mind gone now? Like that and that, yeah, I, I prefer that. Let's, let's not change it up, Barry. I think I need to lie down. Ladies and gents, these are two different types of peeler, both left-handed. You've got your standard uh, generic one, which does feel actually really, really nice. It feels very cheaply made, this one though. Yeah, very hollow. Wow, it's raining loads. But the equivalent to that, whenever I use a peeler, I always use the Barry Lewis left-handed multi-hand uh, peeler thing. This is this gets me by. It's fine. Um, the difference is the curvature. Okay, so with that uh, versus this, as a left-handed person, I guess you can't see what you're doing, whereas this curve is supposed to get your hand out of the way a little bit. Um, I've never found that problem. And as the fact that it's straight, it's a Y. I would normally peel with my left. Now this is the other type of peeler, which I think they call like a swivel peeler or something. I have never, ever been able to use one of those. So this is a left-handed version. I don't know what that is. What is that? Maybe it's a thumb rest. It feels like it could be. We'll try both, but let's start with the easy one. All right, so the carrot is here. Uh, this is my standard peeler that I normally use. And that works a charm. I, I tend to put my finger down on there just to give it a little bit of control and a bit of pressure. We'll go carrot for carrot. We'll go like for like. Um, this, oh, my index finger sits lovely in there. I mean, it's working because I'm peeling carrots, <laughs> but okay. The only benefit I can think that I'm getting by doing that, it doesn't make a difference to me, but it does feel slightly nicer that my index finger can tuck in there but also I can slightly see the rest of the vegetable. It's not like when I'm doing it like this, I'm covering up the rest of it. That's the only benefit. Right, peelers. So this is like uh, an, the only one we've got similar to this in the house. Um, it's primarily used for apples and stuff, uh, but the blade is similar and I, it just feels weird. I feel like I'm like, yeah, I've never been able to get on with them in terms of like, I don't know, like going like that just feels, it feels dangerous, do you know what I mean? Whereas this thing, <laughs> it feels even worse. What? How do you even work? 
Oh, that's how you work. Okay. Oh, it feels weird. My, sh my shoulders, I feel like I'm a chicken. Oh, I suppose, yeah, you're pulling it up to you. Oh, gosh, no. No, just no. Nope. No. <laughs> no, we're gonna finish with some left-handed kitchen knives, okay? So they've all got blue handles. I'm not sure if that helps in a commercial kitchen stand out, but more importantly, they're all sharpened, or if not down the middle, like the bread knife, which we'll come on to, they're sharpened on the right side of the blade to potentially, like the scissors, help left-handed cutting. Uh, so I'm excited for this. If you don't already know, when I cut in videos, I use my dominant hand, so my left hand. I'm pretty confident with that, but I've always found whenever I slice things, particularly downwards, there is a very slight curve in it, very slight, but more importantly in bread when I'm doing that action. I don't know, it's probably just me, but let's find out. Now, unfortunately, I don't have like for like, but this is the right-handed blade in my left hand. Are you with me? <laughs> so you can see it's sharpened that side, whereas the left-handed one is sharpened on the right side to give me that cut as I go down. So I'm just, it's tricky because I'm making sort of, I've got that curved croquet kind of vibe, but I'm feeling like it's going through much easier. I'd, uh, I'm making ridge crisps, it's not quite like for like, we'll get a different knife. Slicing the courgette, but let's try it with the left-handed knife. No, oh my gosh, that's throwing me out. Oh, there is a real kink in that, you see that? Wow, I maybe over the years, I've learnt to adapt, oh my, it's getting worse. I'll try the bread knife. Now this is something that I, uh, we're going back to the scissors just quickly. I, I actually quite like slicing celery with my scissors and other vegetables. I mean, not like a carrot or something like that, but it can actually help. It's one of the most underrated utensils in the kitchen. And why are my dogs getting so excited? What are you getting excited for? You like scissors? I'm just seeing, I mean, remember these aren't food scissors. Yeah. That ain't too bad. I know why they're excited. They can see the steak that I forgot about in the far corner. There is a serrated knife here. But with the steak, you've got the grain. So if you cut with it, it's a lot easier to go through it because you're going with the fibers, like when you're chopping into wood. I've talked about that before. But going against it, it should be tougher. But to be honest, folks, these knives, oh, come on, go get through that. Yeah. They just feel like, if, as long as I don't want like an amazing cut or something, that it doesn't really matter. Bread. Oh, I've washed my hands and this is a freshly baked loaf. Oh, and we have the left-handed and the right-handed bread knife. And this is something I've always struggled with. Look, oh, I don't know if you can see it that side. It's sharpened to the right and it's curving to the right as I look at it. So to you, it's to your left. It, yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's way more obvious than I thought. And when I've cut bread previously on the channel, I've spotted that. Now this is pressure because after all these years, could it actually be the knife or could it be Barry? I know what you're thinking and I'm thinking the same. Let's give this a go. So equal concentration, straight down. We've straightened that up. Oh, it's gonna be a weird shaped bread, hopefully. Oh yes. Oh. Yes! That is a left-handed bread knife and I approve. In fact, maybe, because those other ones are much smaller things to slice, maybe it's all worked, but this is the most clear cut, like the pun, example, because it's such a large area. You're not gonna get it on a courgette, are you? This is what we'll finish the video with. As a person that, as we talked about, I am left-handed, but also right-handed. I'm kind of semi-ampidextrous, but if you are fully left-handed, it might all work for you. I think, it's just down to personal choice and ideally adapting to this right-handed dominated world because it will be cheaper for you. Uh, the uh, bottle opener thing, I didn't like that because it's changing your mindset that we're all used to. Because if you, if you can get used to this, you're gonna start wanting to buy screws for your house when you're doing DIY lads, you know? And you're going lefty tighty. No, didn't like that. Uh, the standing knife, it felt good, but I couldn't see any point of that. This thing, hacked my potato. But the others, the left-handed tape measure, I was thinking. <laughs> that has always been a problem that I've not really realized. Genius. The scissors, I truly believe if you are left-handed, because I cut them my right, they, they will be good. 
The tin opener, I'm gonna keep it as a, a thing because again, I'm, I use my right hand for it. A left-handed thing. Oh gosh, that feels weird. And the knives, I think the bread convinced me for this, just to, to get that cut straight. The other ones, I think you can get by and to be honest, you probably can and already are, but I would definitely recommend getting a bread knife. I'm keeping this. You don't need a left-handed mug. All right, for, uh, for a moment I was. Oh, I'll try and convince Mrs. Barry. Yes. Bonus scene. Uh, and the left-handed clock, that really is throwing me out. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's one I wanted to do for blooming ages. I can get hold of some more left-handed utensils and things. Uh, so if you'd like to see a follow-up to this, do let me know. I hope you found it useful. I hope as perhaps a right-hander, you understand some of the struggles and ultimately some of the solutions we found. That bread knife is rather stonking indeed. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. How was your day? Very good, thank you. You can ask me how mine was. How was your day? Thank you for asking me, darling. It was okay. But on the other hand, well, hey. Hey, I get it. Sorry. I get it. The best thing was this. The left-handed mug. Surely any mug's left-handed. No, it's a left. Depends what. No, no you're holding it wrong. <laughs> no. It's a left-handed mug. Yeah, but it depends. If you do this way, then it's a right-handed mug. It's just not right. Damn it. I <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> to be like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't fall Alright. Oh, actually, um, I did forget to mention that some of these, there are some, you know, sort of joke about this a little bit, but there are some people that might not be able to use their right hand, so this could come in extremely helpful for them. So there is one way of looking at it. Like, you just, that. Yeah, that, that's... Surely that's just the same, you just have to hang on. Oh, and apparently I'm not ambidextrous, I'm sort of like, oh, there was a term for it. Some bloke said to me, it's like, yeah, it's not ambidextrous, it's wrong. Like, okay. Just play it with left-handed tools, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Hi, I'm Barry Lewis, and I'm playing the role of chef assistant in Ashens and the Plebeus Heist. You want to check this film out, because you might want to see me try and act, and there are some amazing actors in it. So check the links, and watch it to your heart's content.